Master of the Lion-Hearted. In any city, in any country, find a condemned house with a faded blue door. To approach this holder, it is crucial to have Object 243 with you. Firstly, you must have the key to unlock the door to the house. Once inside the house, you will find it to be empty. Search the house in any manner appealing to you. Your path is already set. As you approach the last room, you will notice that the door is very different from the rest of the house, extremely ornate and made of polished heavy oak. If you wish to run, now would be the time. If not, knock on the door. It doesn't matter how many times, as long as it's a confident knock. If you are greeted by silence, then it would be wise to flee, unless you would like to see what is kept in the hidden enclosure behind the wall opposite the door. If you hear a man clearing his throat, then it is safe to enter, though not to let your guard down. Once you are through the door, you will find yourself in a large study, ornately decorated with bookshelves full of books lining the walls, and a large richly made desk in the middle of the room. Behind the desk is a large important looking shield mounted on the wall. At this desk is a little old man writing in a small green book. Do not speak, just wait. After a few moments of furious scribbling, the little man will stop for a moment, as if thinking, and then motion for you to sit in a chair in front of his desk. Do so and the chair will rock it into the ceiling, leaving you as nothing more than a puddle. If you stand patiently, then the man will eventually look up at you. His face will suddenly change into something not of this world. Whatever you do, do not react to this. After a moment, the creature will stand and begin to circle you. Once again, do not move. The creature will begin to ask you questions. Who were the Templars? Have you met Richard? Do not answer these questions unless it is with this question. How do we defend ourselves? At this, the monster will begin to reel about the room, screaming. Through all of this, it is still crucial that you don't move. Though your legs will shake, your knees will try to give out. Your arms will try to flail, and you will try to scream your insides out. Do not move. I pray that you are able to keep your composure while the monster reels and screams and rips apart the beautiful room. When at last the creature stops in front of you, brace for an impact. The creature will scream one final time, Coeur de Lyon. As it screams, the shield mounted above the desk behind it will shake on the wall. It will dislodge itself and shoot towards you. As it is about to collide with you, close your eyes and open the small blue box. Count to ten. Open your eyes. You will now be standing outside of the house dust flowing from the inside of the house. Object 156 with Richard the Lionheart's emblem now emblazoned on the front of it rests comfortably on your arm and the now familiar weight of the box and key sits in your other pocket. As the house collapses in front of you a large jagged piece of wood will shoot out of one window toward you. The shield will lurch on your arm. Whether you use it to defend yourself or not is up to you. If you do choose to save yourself, then raise the shield. In a unique movement, 
not of your own will, the shield will twitch, and the piece of wood will simply vanish. Speaking the final words of the creature will cause it to become a more transportable lifeline. Coeur de Lyon. That's all you need to say to have a necklace with a shield pendant hanging from your neck. Though this necklace can save you or destroy the world. The emblem is Object 244 or 538. 